Sectional Orthographic View In this video, we'll learn how to draw the sectional orthographic view of this object. Since we've already covered the basics, let's dive straight into the drawing process. First, observe the direction of viewing. We are looking at the object from this side. Additionally, notice the sectional plane, which cuts through the object along this line. This means the object is split into two symmetrical halves, like this. To draw the sectional orthographic view of this object, we first need to have its orthographic views. So, let's start by drawing the orthographic projections. If the projection method, that is, first angle or third angle is not specified, we'll assume the first angle projection method for this example. Now, when we look at the object from this direction, it will appear like this. These are the dimensions of the object seen from the front view. Let's quickly draw the front view of the object. First, take a drafter and draw a horizontal line of 70 mm as shown. From both ends of this line, extend vertical lines of 20 mm downward. Next, from the bottom of these vertical lines, draw 10 mm horizontal lines, followed by 10 mm vertical lines as shown. Finally, connect these two points with a horizontal line to complete the outline of the base. Now, we can see that the base has two holes. Since these holes are not visible from the front view, we need to represent them using dotted lines. To do this, take a ruler and mark 35 millimeters from one of the sides. At this point, draw an axis line, which represents the center of the hole. The width of the hole is 16 millimeters, so mark 8 millimeters on either side of the axis line. Finally, Draw the dotted lines to indicate the hidden holes present in the base. Next, let's draw this hollow cylindrical portion of the object. The outer diameter of this cylinder is 36 mm, and its height is 30 mm. It is positioned 60 mm above the base, with its center located 104 mm away from the left corner of the base. To begin, take a drafter and mark a point at 60 mm vertically from the base. Then, from the left corner, mark another point at 104 mm horizontally. This point represents the center line of the hollow cylinder. Now, draw the center line as shown. Since the outer diameter of the cylinder is 36 mm, mark 18 mm on either side of the center line. From these points, draw vertical lines of 30 mm in height, and then connect them with horizontal lines to form a rectangle. This rectangle represents the outer profile of the hollow cylinder. Now, let's indicate the hollow inner portion of the cylinder. The inner hole has a diameter of 20 mm, so we mark 10 mm on either side of the center line. Using these points, draw dotted vertical lines to represent the hidden hole inside the cylinder. With this, the hollow cylinder is complete. Moving on, let's draw the web portion of the object. This inclined line of the section connects to the point that is 36 mm away from the center of the hollow cylinder. So, we draw a horizontal line of 36 mm from the center of the cylinder as shown. Finally, connect these points using an inclined line, and then join these other two points to complete the shape. With this, the front view of the object is complete. To access the complete series, Enroll in my Master Engineering Drawing with Animation course. You can find the link in the description or head over to adtwstudy.com. With a one-time purchase, you'll get lifetime access to the course with regular video updates. This course is designed to be the ultimate all-in-one solution for mastering engineering drawing. Join now at the current lowest price as it may go up in the future.